serum and then I do a moisturizer. I'm going to just kind of freshen up, freshen up my face. This is the foundation that I'm currently 
pencil on one side and it has a brush on the other side. So I can start here at the bottom section and just kind of work my way over. Do the same thing on the top and then just kind of fill in as I go.
as well and I'll show you that finished product right now I'll kind of let this sit for a moment and then I'll take a nice eyeshadow or eyelash comb eyeshadow comb what would, you, what would that even be? a brush I guess that would just be a regular eyeshadow brush <laughs> anyways so I'll take this and kind of separate some of the lashes just a bit so they're not too like stuck together because that happens sometimes for me I don't know about you guys maybe it does maybe I'm not the only one maybe I'm not the only one so now that we have the like eyelashes and the eyeshadow done all of that um I usually will do like the fake lashes next I am a disaster at applying those and they take me a while so I will spare you from that pain and fast forward to the point of where they are already applied 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 hi and welcome back Spot. 
sponge, a beauty sponge, whatever you want to call it, and blend everything in just a bit better. And now we'll move the highlighting product on the nose, or I should say the contouring product, the concealer. We will be using highlighter as well shortly. Beauty sponge, beauty blender, and go ahead and tap, 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 tap the product in. Hey, bro. 
trash on the other side. So like, it's amazing for traveling. I traveled for a couple weeks in Europe with this and it was amazing. This entire line, like I had all of their cream eyeshadows and their lip stuff and it seriously was so nice. It's like not messy. It's really compact and easy to use and take with you everywhere you go. And it's beautiful. It's like, it's the kind of stuff that I don't really have to try very hard with. It just looks pretty and, um, is like effortless. And that's the kind of beauty that I like. So, uh, sometimes you're gropey lazy. So, I'm just taking a little bit of that onto the chin here where you would kind of get more of your direct, like, sunlight throughout the day. If you ever go in the sunlight, I don't really ever leave my house. I'm kind of a body. Even prior to COVID, I really was like a super, super like homebody. Like I've had my partying days for sure. But nowadays, like I really just enjoy like chilling at home and vegging out and like hanging out with my family and my dogs and like that kind of stuff. When I do go out and travel, I love having products like these that are super easy to clean up. There's like almost no cleanup and they're just so nice and good quality. So the second product or the third product, I should say the third by Nudies by Nude Sticks is the Nudies Glow. And this is an all over face highlight color and it is in the shade Half Moon. Half Moon, Half Moon, Half Moon. I love their packaging. I think it's so cute. This may be difficult to read. Oh, there we go. Sometimes that lighting like reflects so hard. So, this is what it looks like as the stick on the one side and then the nice brush on the other. So, I'm going to take it right in here in these areas that I have already previously brightened. Now, I will be honest with you guys, I don't love a cream all the time. Um, I kind of prefer powder most of the time, but out of all of the like cream highlighters that I've ever tried or like liquid ones. This is one that I really enjoy. It stays where it's supposed to stay and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good too. So I really like it. And before I blend in by my eyes, I'm going to take just like a tiny bit of setting powder. I probably should have done that on it to be honest with you like before I started doing this, but I just wanted to do it before I forget completely. So I'm just going to take a little bit of blending powder, blending, or setting powder, setting powder. I'm blending right now, but I'm going to get some setting powder and we're going to use that underneath the eyes to kind of set that area in. This is just a translucent setting powder by Sephora. Sephora, Sephora. It's just super basic. It's really nice though. It's really nice and translucent and perfect. It does exactly what I need it to do. I just take a little tiny bit here in the gap like this. Just a little bit. And then I will take my beauty blender. I have like an angled one here. And I will set that in right underneath my eyes here. Just a little bit right here underneath there. And then I'll do the same thing on the other eye. So that everything kind of stays in place where it's supposed to. Um, I don't really have much of my, like, face makeup move on me too much. Mostly because I use the primers and everything else that I use. But I notice that my under eyes for sure will, like, kind of move around quicker than anything else throughout the day. Like, by the end of the day, um, I can tell that I have, like, had concealer on, you know. So, anyways, setting powder is, like, an important step for me, and I don't use a ton. I just use a little bit under there. I don't want to make it super dry and, like, wrinkly looking either. So, just a little bit. And now I'll take that brush and just kind of blend this in over here where we put the highlighter, highlighter, highlighter. And, again, a lot of the times I typically use a powder highlighter. But I really enjoy, I really do enjoy a nice cream or gel highlighter like this every once in a while. And I'm just going to go over this a little bit. Kind of press that in. So there's where we are for our 
lip liner. It's just a nice, like, piece of color for me. This is kind of a more indie makeup brand. It is called Unique. Unique, Unique. And this is their Sympathetic Splash Liquid Lipstick. And it is Sympathetic is the shade. And I'm going to use this as a depth color, basically, in the center. noticeable and that's exactly the way that I want it to be. I want it to kind of catch your eye and make it look like ooh like there's a little bit of a little some 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 going on there. Here is my finished finish. look. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Try to do more videos like this if you guys let me know that you enjoyed it and if there are any looks that you would like to see me try and recreate 